Hi, my name is Mark LaPrairie. Hello, my name is Purti Sinatha. We are two graduate computer science students under the supervision of Dr. Howard Hamels. So what we have here is the uh, adaptive keyboard from Microsoft. And so it's a prototype keyboard that's not out on the market yet. We got our hands on it through a competition uh, called uh, WIST, User Interface Science and Technology. There was a conference in New York City. And uh, so what we got, we got this technology before it came out so we'd have a chance to try to develop something that never existed before. And what the keyboard basically is, is it has uh, images displayed on each of the keys as well as a touch screen on top. So it basically means that we can change the way that we think of the keyboard. All of a sudden, instead of just displaying numbers, it can have pictures or a different language or anything you really want. So it's a really new idea. Uh, last semester, I was working on a research paper and I used to lose the flow while I copied and then I had to go back to my document and paste it. Instead, what I wanted to do is just keep reading while I'm copying the information I require later. And then this couldn't happen because we do not have technology that would allow us to do it right now, which is like user friendly and intuitive, which allows me to say, uh, this is what I copied later when I want it. And I just complained about this idea and Mark came up with a clear idea of how to use this idea on a keyboard. So he said, we could just keep copying while you're reading the document and we don't have to switch to the other document where we need to paste it. And while you copy, a smaller image of all that you copy appears on the keyboard. That helps us recognize what we have copied while we try to paste it on our original document. And we also have something called permanent clipboard paste. So you can just say I'm a University of Regina student and then I always write reports. So I keep trying to find the logo each time, you know, going to the website and finding the logo and copy paste it. Instead, I can just assign it for one of my keys and just hit on the key. So each time I hit on that key on the original clipboard mode, I'll just have my image copied to my clipboard, which is sort of like neat. Yeah, so it's, it's kind of, yeah, it's cool. You got a permanent clipboard now, as we call them, where, where you've assigned it to a key that you've selected, and now you can always get it back with just an action key and then selecting that key. So it's, it's really keeps you from having to touch the mouse, keeps your hands on the keyboard, keeps you typing, and keeps you productive. So this is the adaptive keyboard from Microsoft. This is that prototype we were talking about. And uh, it functions like a regular keyboard if you want it to. Uh, some neat things is because each screen, or each key has a screen in it, when you hold down the shift key, what you would expect is that the capital letters appear. Or if you hold down the control key, all the actions like cut, copy, paste appear. So because it's dynamic, it can kind of update to what you're doing with it. So it actually operates in three modes. It operates in the standard keyboard mode, which is that highlighting and the, or the, uh, the shift stuff we just saw. It operates in the application launcher which lets you uh, launch any program you want. Say you're in a full screen application and you need to launch an uh, internet to Google something, you just press the, the Chrome icon and the internet pops right up. You don't have to take your hand on the, off the keyboard and put it on the mouse. You don't have to close any applications you're in to get to the desktop. You just press the action key and then the icon of the application you want. And that works for everything, whether you want to pop up a little picture of a dog or if you want to uh, open up paint, it all just appears. So that, that's uh, sort of a, a useful mode, but where a really interesting idea that we brought to the keyboard was the, the idea of the visual clipboard. And so what happens is when you're, when you're doing research on something, you can enter the visual clipboard mode to retrieve your history of clipboards on the keys, or you can say, uh, retrieve ones that you've saved specially. Our example here uh, will be if you find an image of the old university and you really want to keep that image around, you just copy it twice and press a key and it appears is bound to action key D. So now we can always get that picture of the old university from before uh, the new campus was built.